What up, you should see me here. For anybody who remembers the iconic a horror character Pumpkin Man, got some really cool news. It's officially been reported that Paramount Players uh, has all uh, is working on a remake of Stan Winston's uh, Pumpkin Man. As Blade discussing reports, Paramount Players is looking hard um, into developing uh, existing uh, like Trusha of properties. Which is why it's conjuring up its remake of Pumpkinhead. A script is already complete and production is wrapping up. Uh, no word on when, like, who's gonna be directing it, starring, or anything like that. But years ago, Pierre Block was identified as the producer of the film, and, um, uh, S. Docker, which is like the Die Docker sequel, which was terrible, uh, Nate Atkins, um, was announced as the screenwriter. Um, now, this could be a trick, uh, now if you guys don't really know much about, uh, Pumpkinhead, uh, it's, you know, Pumpkinhead's not really like a, like, a much of a horror icon as, let's say, Freddy, Jason, or anything like that, but I always thought Pum the original Pumpkinhead was a trick, some of the sequels wasn't so good. Uh, but if you guys don't really know much about the, uh, story here, uh, it's set in, uh, 1937's Pennsylvania, and Pumpkin Man Origin, um, includes, uh, themes of racial attention, voodoo, and multiple demons. Pumpkin Man, like, uh, creatures, um, it tells the story of this, uh, black man and his, uh, white, um, uh, white, who escaped from the, uh, racism and hatred of South and, uh, travel, um, North into the, uh, woods of, uh, Pennsylvania to, uh, settle in a, uh, in this like small peaceful uh community uh the appearance of uh an um uh, interracial uh couple outrages a, a local gang who sets off a uh, slew of horrific um hate crimes including um uh, brutalization of his wife and community um elder to put an end to the uh, racially driven uh, violence a man um uh, utilizes his voodoo um skills to summon everyone's favorite revenge demon pumpkin head uh so now, it's uh, unclear at this time, um, you know, uh, what Paramount, you know, treatment will actually look like, but I am, I am really interested in checking out a new Pumpkinhead. I mean, we are getting some really iconic, um, return of horror icons, whether it's, like, uh, Michael Myers, you know, Chucky, and all. Uh, so it would be cool to see, um, a new resurrection of Pumpkinhead, especially with, uh, you know, racial tension we're having in nowadays, with the Black Lives Matter movement and everything. So I think a new pumpkin head today will definitely be cool. I mean, I'm curious to see who they can get to direct this thing. I could tell, I could easily see Jordan Peele tackling something like this. Like the whole racial tension, I could maybe see Jordan Peele uh, doing something like this. Maybe I was probably say near the cost of, but she might be a little busy with the Captain Marvel sequel. I mean, I know she did a good job with Candyman, so I could totally see near the cost of being the one to direct this. Um, but now this is some of the few stuff that uh, Paramount is like uh, working on um, that is based on iconic properties. You know, um, some other like horror uh, stuff that they got coming out as well it includes Orphan First Kill, a uh, Pet Cemetery prequel. So they got some interesting other stuff coming out as well. Anyway, let me leave you guys. What are your thoughts on Paramount officially giving us a remake of Pumpkinhead? Were you ever a fan of the original Pumpkinhead? Are you even interested in checking out a remake? Who would you love to see uh, direct this updated version? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu Sion.